Today is part one of the 2021 Frag Swap Series. It's time to make some frags. Let's go. Hey, what's up, coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Lama Coral YouTube channel. Make sure to follow along in this series and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I post new videos. If you've been a subscriber for a little bit or maybe you've gone back and done some searching on some previous videos that I've done, you may have come with me on the first frag swap that I ever was a vendor in as a hobbyist and how stressful that was. And you might have been with me for my second frag swap, which was super affected by the pandemic. Normally for the St. Louis area frag swap, we have like 15 to 20 vendors. And at last year's, it was like seven or eight. Still didn't do too bad given the circumstances. For spring 2021, it looks like we've got a decent lineup and I'm really excited about it. We've got some of our Chicago slash Wisconsin friends who are making the drive down to St. Louis. Today, I'm gonna focus on leathers, more specifically, several toadstools that I have. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that those heal up and adhere to the plug to make it easier and so we don't have a bunch of rubber bands hanging out in the frag tank the day of the show. It seems like all the long polyp toadstools are still very popular, so we're gonna go ahead and frag up four different kinds that I have. The other coral that I'm gonna be taking is gonna be a decent amount. I'm gonna have to like let go of the connection that I have with some of these because I wanna revamp this entire space and I wanna get rid of a lot of coral. Now, especially the sentimental corals, I'm definitely not going to let those go because they mean something to me and they have a story and I like that about those corals. They've been with me for a long time. So those probably won't be going, but all the stuff that I don't really have a connection to and some of the higher end stuff too will probably be making its way into the frag swap. So if you want a good deal on some high end stuff, you'll want to come out. One of the biggest things I learned over the past two frag swaps was the ability to separate coral this month leading up to the frag swap. And that's where the frag tank extension comes into play. So this tank right here is actually my show frag tank, but it's plumbed into the system. So it's really easy for me to just pluck corals that I want to put in the show and put them in that tank for the month leading up. And then once we get to the night before the show, all I have to do is pull the racks out of there, put them in coolers and take it on over. Today we're going to frag four different toadstools, a couple of which have never been fragged before and have just been growing and a couple of which I have fragged before and that includes the weeping willow leather coral. Those are all in the lagoon, so let's go back there and get those out. So this first toadstool is a long polyp leather coral, and it's not quite as long in the polyps as the weeping willow, and the actual stalks are pretty spaced out on this toadstool, but it's a cool one nonetheless. This one is gonna be hard for me to cut because I love it so much. It's like a deep green color. I really, really love this one, and it really flows really well too. I think this one's gonna sell pretty well. This one's been growing for about a year and a half. It's a slow grower, but this is a Japanese green long polyp leather. We're gonna go ahead and frag that one up. And you know and love this one. It is a frag of the Weeping Willow, the large colony that I have in my frag tank. So we'll go ahead and get a few frags out of this as well. So let's go ahead and frag these up. All right, so first of all, I like to add a little bit of, just a couple drops of iodine to my water for the new frags. You just have to make sure that you don't, you don't wanna get the, the stalk. And you can see how we're kind of close here on this one. This is the actual, this is a, a frag of the Weeping Willow Leather Coral. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of take out this chunk over on this side and kind of follow it down. These have been super awesome as smaller frags. They really have a really high success rate right, when you make them smaller. So that way we can have more for the frag swap and hopefully give more people the opportunity to grow this out in their tank. So sorry if the frag plug is in the way, you're not gonna be able to see it. Just a little buzz. A little buzz cut, go ahead and put that in there. Probably get two frags out of that. All right, let's do this guy now. A little bit longer of a stalk on this guy. You can see this might be a little bit easier to identify. Let's go in and kind of do a donut. I see an exit point here. Go ahead and throw that 
in there. There we go. So this is the Japanese green long polyp. And we should be able to get a decent amount of frags out of this one. This is one of those ones where I don't really want to cut him because he's been with me for so long. So I'm able to just cut like a side of him here. Leathers are super easy to cut once you've done it a couple times. It's just, you know, making a clean cut as best as you can. So this is the newer one that I got not too long ago. And this is that dark green one, kind of like curled under. So we'll just kind of go around this way. All right. They look like little mushrooms in the water. <laughs> so I like the rubber band method. Uh, it just seems to be super easy when they're ready to just take this out. Sometimes they'll frag themselves, but I don't know. I think it's okay. You just need to loosely, just very loosely tuck it underneath the uh, rubber band and it will, over the next two weeks or so, will adhere. So just like that. And sometimes they'll slip away and you might see them floating around the tank or whatever, but if you keep them in a low flow area, they'll do just fine. You wanna try and get as much of that bottom touching the plug as much as possible because the more surface area that is touching, the better the chances are of it attaching a lot quicker. So I'm gonna get these back in the tank now that we've got rubber bands on everything and we'll flash forward and I'll show you how they're doing today. Tomorrow. Here we are a couple days afterward and all the frags look really good. Actually, I was kind of surprised. Some of those are a little small, but that's okay. Looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different frags. And if they don't have their polyps out, that looks like they're about ready to come out. Some of these look a little bit squishier, like, you know, how the rubber bands are coming through them a little bit more, but that's okay. But everything looks great, viable, and we should have some happy customers come frag swap. I wanted to start with the leathers, like I said, because they will take a little bit of time to adhere to the plugs, and I just wanted to make it super clean and super easy for whoever purchased these next. I get so many inquiries about these toadstools on a daily basis. I wish I had more. I wish I had hundreds of frags that I could just sell across the nation, but these will specifically be going to the frag swap. So if you wanna join us at the frag swap this year, I'm gonna leave all the information below, and right here is kind of the rundown of how the day is gonna go and all of the vendors that will be there this year. I suffer from being a hoarder big time and I think that a lot of people in this hobby do. If you've had a coral for a long time, it's hard to cut it, it's hard to get rid of it. So I think if I just like Marie Kondo that and you know thank it for the joy that it brought me and then let it go to another reefer to make them happy, I'll feel better about myself. Part one of the 2021 Frag Series is in the books. Please follow along as I go. These are always so much fun for me to do. Uh, so if you would like to, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I post new videos. I wanna say shout out to everyone that made the Frag Farmers Market in New England happen. I heard it was a huge success. They did it a little bit differently this year and made multiple stops because I guess the state of Connecticut was making it very difficult for people to convene altogether. Make sure to check out OSA's Frag Farmers Market video. I'm sure they're gonna have a follow-up soon. And Scott Crow, and the crew set up their frag show setup in the farm, which was really cool. So they let people come into the farm and kind of browse around and uh, see all the cool stuff that Chris Kaz and everybody had to offer. Very cool to see and awesome to see the adaptation that they made with this show and just how creative you can be with something like that where normally we'd all pile into one convention hall together and that might not be the safest right now, but hopefully in the next couple months, we'll be able to do that again. And if you haven't checked out my new Five Minute Friday segment, which hasn't ever been five minutes long, it's always like six or seven or eight minutes long, uh, you can check that out because I'm starting to do two videos a week 
So you can check that out on the main page as well. Five Minute Friday, if you have any tips, tricks, gadgets, whatever, please leave that in the comments section below. Maybe with some of the money I get from the frag swap, I can replace the cardboard in the windows, maybe? Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of a signature thing now. I might start selling pieces of cardboard to people so they can put it in their basement windows. That probably wouldn't work out very well. Nobody would buy that. What if I put a llama sticker on it? Maybe people would buy that. Maybe, probably not though. All right, stay safe and I'll see you for the next one.